What's up guys, welcome back to Chiefs Chat. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the top five running backs in the National Football League. Okay, these are current players only. Uh, we're not talking about legends here. Obviously the list would look a lot different. Okay, these are only gonna be players who are currently on a roster. I think you guys understand, okay? Uh, so with that being said, you know, if you guys disagree, if you guys feel that, you know, a certain player should be on the list, a certain player shouldn't be on the list, drop a comment down below, okay? Uh, you know, that's what they're there for after all, you know, they're they're there for you to share your thoughts and opinions on what I'm saying right now, you know? So do that if you feel like doing it. I'm not gonna force you, but you know, you can. But with that being said, you know, let's, uh, let's get into this list, okay? Number five, I've got Colts running back Jonathan Taylor. I know, I know this guy was a beast last season, undisputably the best running back last season. This guy, 1,800 yards, it's hard to look away from that, but that's kind of what I'm doing here, okay? Jonathan Taylor is not a top three running back in the NFL. I've got a few guys who I just think because of injuries, you know, that's kind of going to be a big word in this video, injuries. There was a lot of them last year. Uh, but yeah, I just think there's a few guys who didn't really get the chance to show that they are just as good, if not better than Jonathan Taylor, uh, because they were hurt, okay? So that's kind of going to be the theme of the video, injuries. But I will give Jonathan Taylor respect, you know, he took a lot of carries, he took a lot of receptions, you know, he did a lot of productive things for the Colts, and he didn't get hurt. If he can consistently do that, you know, he's he's just going up and up, okay? This guy's a solid player. He's going to be number three next season, he's going to be number two next season, you know? If he continues this level of production, I cannot ignore that. But you know what, man? It was one year, that's all I'm saying, you know, one year from a guy who's still young, still developing, so, you know, let's wait and see. But I still got to give the guy props. Jonathan Taylor, fantastic. Great running back, solid player. And I was actually surprised going into last season, you know, the Colts, they've got a lot of great running backs, or at least they did last season, okay? You got Hines and you got Marlon Mack with Jonathan Taylor on that team. I thought it was gonna be kind of a committee type situation where multiple guys were getting carries. But now they went ahead and decided to give Jonathan Taylor most of the carries and it paid off. I mean, this guy, fantastic season. Gotta give him credit. So moving on, to number four. You guys are probably sitting here wondering, who do I have above the best, you know, running back in the NFL last season? Oh well, yeah, I got four guys. I got four guys in front of the best running back last season. And one of those guys is Alvin Kamara, number four. Okay, this guy, he's a beast. You cannot deny that he is a very consistent, reliable, productive running back, not only in the rushing game, but he's got some great hands and he can do some great things after the catch, okay? This guy's like Debo Samuel, okay? He can make a couple of moves and then boom, he's in the end zone. You know, before you even know it. Alvin Kamara, definitely one of my favorite players, aside from what he was doing in Las Vegas. I'm not sure what that was, okay? I have no comment on that, okay? Alvin Kamara, I don't know what that was. But when he's on the field, he's great. You know, nobody can deny that. Great in the backfield, great when catching the football. So he's a great money back. Everybody knows this at this point, you know? Solid player, very, very reliable in goal line situations, which is something I, really believe is one of the most important qualities in a running back, you know? Do you have a guy who can just get that football and punch it in? You know, that's kind of an important quality to have. When we're talking about the Chiefs, you know, Ronald Jones is kind of that guy now. I think last year it was Daryl Williams, but Ronald Jones is there for the Chiefs. I think every team needs a guy who can just take it at the one yard line, boom, score that touchdown. And Alvin Kamara, he's a pretty reliable guy when it comes to that, you know, pretty solid guy. He's just got a big body, okay? Everyone knows that. He's pretty built. Moving on, okay? Number three. It's Nick Chubb. Okay, I had a hard time uh, putting in this low. You know, I am a Nick Chubb fanboy, honestly. You could say that I'm a huge Nick Chubb fan. This guy, consistent, you know, very, very reliable in that Browns backfield, you know? You know, ever since he entered the league in 2018, he's been very consistent, very reliable, just a very great runner, okay? This guy, he's elusive. You know, he's got a little bit of everything. He's just through and through, just a fantastic runner, okay? This guy, he's just, he's really solid for the Browns. And then you've got Kareem Hunt in that backfield too, which is just crazy. But, uh, you know, I'm not kidding here, okay? Every time I watch the Browns play football, I see the way that that offense is operating, okay? And this is, you know, another thing I will say about the running back position, if you are a running back who just runs the offense, man, you are just so reliable. And Nick Chubb is that guy for the Browns. He just runs that offense, okay? Every single play, they're like, you know, they get in the huddle and I would imagine they're like, all right, how are we gonna get the ball to Nick Chubb on this play? Cause this guy, every time he's got the ball in his hands, he's making something happen for the Browns. So every time, you know, when I see that from the Browns, when I see 
that an entire offense is running through the running back, Nick Chubb. I mean, I gotta give him respect for that. And he is productive. I would not be surprised if he's on my list, number one next year. I would not be surprised at all because he doesn't get injured too much. When he's on the field, he's great. He's productive, okay? He was injured a little bit last year and that's the reason he really didn't produce all that much. You know, a lot of people kind of disregarded what he did last year because he wasn't on the field as much as he should have been, okay? And that's how it is for a lot of these guys on my list here, okay? But Nick Chubb, they're at number three. And you guys are probably wondering after all that Nick Chubb praise, who do I got at number two and number one? Well, I think it's obvious, okay? I think we all know where this is going. I've got Christian McCaffrey from the Panthers at number two on my list. Okay, Christian McCaffrey. I understand. I understand that every single year, it's something else, you know? It's some other crazy injury, okay? It's, it's ridiculous, you know? And it really makes me upset. Christian McCaffrey, he is not a durable player at all. And that's honestly, I'm gonna say it right now, that is the reason he is not number one on my list, okay? I mean, this guy, looks can be the, look, looks can be deceiving because this guy's a player, okay? This guy, he can do some great things on the football field. The best, undisputably, okay? The best dual threat running back I have ever seen with my own eyes, okay? This guy, he can run it, okay? He is extremely elusive. And he can also make some great things happen in the passing game, okay? This guy is unbelievable when he's on the field. And let me tell you, right now, okay? Put in the freaking bank, okay? This is what I'm telling you. It's 100% true. If this guy is healthy next season, there's gonna be no doubt this guy's the best running back in the NFL. When he is healthy, he produces, okay? He really does. He's a great player. I gotta give Christian McCaffrey the respect that he deserves because right now, he's just injury prone. And that's kind of what everybody puts next to his name. Injury prone, injury prone Christian McCaffrey. Nobody likes him, but he's great. He's a fantastic running back when he's on the field, okay? I gotta give him respect. I gotta give him the credit I believe he deserves. And so, number one, I think you guys at this point know what number one's gonna be, okay? It's gonna be King Henry. Derrick Henry, in my opinion, is the best running back in football. A lot of people criticize Derrick Henry. You know, a lot of people say, oh, well, he wouldn't be putting up all these crazy stats if he wasn't getting all these carries. Well, think about why it is that he's getting all these carries. Think about why it is that every time you watch the Tennessee Titans play football, the entire offense is quite literally running through Derrick Henry. Every single play, it seems like it's a run. It's a, it's a run up the middle for Derrick Henry. You know, it's, it's because every time he gets a carry, he makes something happen with it. This guy is huge. Okay, this guy is giant. And on top of that, he's got crazy athleticism. Okay, there's no doubt in my mind this guy's the best running back in football. I mean, he is the definition of a physical specimen. Okay, he literally is a fantastic physical specimen at that. Okay, this guy, he can just bulldoze. 250 pound linebackers like it's nothing. I've seen it happen time and time again, okay? I've seen him just freaking throw 200 pound men on the freaking turf like it's nothing. I mean, I'm, I'm 165 pounds. Imagine what he'd do to me. He'd probably kill me if he even laid a finger on me. So, I mean, honestly, this guy, he's scary. And that is exactly what you want in your running back. You want, you want everybody on the field to be afraid of him, okay? I've seen players run away from Derrick Henry on the football field. I know it might not, it might not be obvious to everyone else, but I can see it. I can see when Derrick Henry's running down the field and you've got a couple of, you know, 5'10", you know, 200 pound corners, you know, trying to run run up with him, you know, they're not gonna make any crazy moves. I can tell you that right now. They are not gonna try to bring this guy down to the turf as hard as they would if, you know, they were chasing down, you know, a shorter, you know, maybe a 5'9 type running back, maybe a Dalvin Cook type running back, you know, they're not gonna, you know, make a crazy move on Derrick Henry because they know that they're gonna get embarrassed. Derrick Henry's that guy. He is that guy and he always will be that guy, regardless of whether or not he gets hurt. I know why he gets hurt. It's because he takes so many carries. Any running back in the NFL that gets that level of carries, you know, they're gonna get hurt. That's just what's gonna happen. I mean, these guys take a beating every time they touch the football. I mean, think about it. Every time you give the football to your running back, you've got 11 highly trained professional athletes running at you, trying to put you on the ground as quickly as they possibly can. You know, these guys take a beating every time they touch the football. And the fact that Derrick Henry isn't like dead right now, as big as he is, is, is crazy to me. But here he is and he's still going, 27 years old, and he's still got something left in the tank. I think if he's on the field and he is healthy, he's gonna dominate, you know, that's just my opinion. But like I said, if you guys agree, if you guys disagree, drop a comment down below. Happy to talk football with everybody. Uh, but other than that, Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next Chiefs chat. Peace out.